If you feel as though you are bound or restricted in any area of your life, I want you to know that Jesus Christ can set you free. Jesus Christ can break every chain in your life. Saints, the enemy has a strategy in place against us as the children of God. The devil seeks to oppress, to bind, to limit, and to restrict. However, when God gets involved, he brings freedom. He brings liberty. When God gets involved in your affairs and in your situation, he releases you from all limitations and restrictions. Luke chapter 13, verse 10 to 13 says, Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman who had had a disabling spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not fully straighten herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your disability. And he laid his hands on her. And immediately she was made straight and she glorified God. Let's focus on verse 12. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your disability. Now this woman was freed from her disability. Now by faith, in my own situation and in my own circumstances, I believe that Jesus Christ has set me free from my past. I believe that Jesus Christ has freed me from generational cycles of sin. He's freed me from generational cycles of illness. I believe that Jesus Christ has freed me and separated me from every evil spirit that follows my bloodline. And saints of God, I encourage you to believe that Jesus Christ can set you free. He can set you free from depression and anxiety. He can set you free from that secret addiction. He can set you free from the anger and resentment hidden in your heart. Jesus Christ can set you free from everything that oppresses you, from everything that limits and restricts you. You are not bound to that situation because God can turn any situation around. You are not enslaved by the forces of evil because Jesus Christ has defeated the devil. He has defeated hell and all of its forces. I love what the Bible says in Luke chapter 4, verse 17 to 19. And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. In Jesus, there is healing for the brokenhearted so that they are no longer held hostage by the pain of yesterday. In Jesus, there is liberty to the captives so that they are no longer condemned by their sins, but they are forgiven because of the wonderful work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Saints, be encouraged. If you are seeking freedom, seek Jesus. Now let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I come to you today with a humble spirit. I come to you with a heart filled with faith and expectation. You are a God who can bind up all of my wounds. Because of you, Lord, I am no longer a slave to sin. Because of you, I am no longer captive to the forces of evil. I declare your word which tells me that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Meaning that you, King Jesus, have placed within me 
the strength to overcome adversity, the strength to overcome the devil. And for that, I rejoice and thank you, Lord. I thank you because in you, I can walk in victory and I have the power to defeat sin. This is all because of you and I am grateful. Because of who you are, Lord, I bow down and glorify you. I humble myself and surrender all that I am to you. I trust and believe that you will liberate me, you will redeem me, and you will make me whole again. As I pray in agreement today with everyone listening, we ask for freedom. Freedom from any strongholds, any chains that seek to hold us back or hold us down. Freedom from past sins, past mistakes. We ask, Lord, that you set us free. Your word in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 says, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Help us, Lord. Help each and every believer listening right now. Help them to forget the former things. Give them the grace not to dwell on the past. Help us to look forward, to look forward to you doing a new thing in our lives. Help us to look forward to a life of freedom in Jesus Christ. Father, we need you to set us free from everything that seeks to bind us. We need divine intervention to help us to let go of old habits. Help us to let go of everything that weighs us down or tries to limit our belief, Lord. Help us to let go of the past and let go of any pain, anger, and shame from the past. Help us to forgive anyone who has disappointed or betrayed us. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would Soften our hearts so that we would not be hardened with resentment, bitterness, or unforgiveness. God, I pray for the one who has been mistreated. I pray for the one who has suffered heartbreak or loss. I pray that your love and your compassion, may it overwhelm them, Lord Jesus. May they find healing in your arms. May they find wholeness in your presence, and above all, May they find the strength to let go and move on from that past. Only you can fully repair our hearts, our minds, and souls. Give us closure where we need closure. Feel the voids that may unsettle our hearts. And may we learn the lessons you intend for us to learn. And Lord God, we look forward to a future with you. We embrace a future that is in your hands, one that is filled with love, mercy, and goodness. As we reach out in prayer, we put our hopes and our dreams, our plans and relationships in your hands. With you by our side, there is nothing that can hold us down. Nothing can hold us back. I pray for the person who is listening right now. I pray that all negative feelings are released from their hearts right now and every feeling of guilt is removed. God, let all bitterness be destroyed. Everything that is not from you, I pray that you would remove it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.